Hey everybody, it's your crazy bagel shiver. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, oh, it's finally here. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier will be reacting to the first episode, New World Order. Guys, I am so excited for this show. I mean, with the a uh, whole show of WandaVision. It was such a shock to see how good it actually was, like how in-depth the character development was for everyone who was in that show. And I still love WandaVision. I've watched it like the whole series again, like three times at least now, because it's just so good and love it. And obviously like, if you guys already know with the aftermath, quick plug um that is where me and the Basden brothers do a podcast or like a conversation video and we talk about all the theories pros and cons of episodes that we like and the next of our series is obviously Falcon and the Winter Soldier but when we were talking about WandaVision we were a little bit let down by the pacing of the final episode but it's fine but overall I love that show and when I saw the quality of that I was like oh my god imagine the quality of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and now guys <laughs> I have to admit this show is the one that I've been waiting for for ages. Like when they announced it, I was like, oh my God, like this is gonna be sick because I am a mass fan of, of Sam, of course. Like I love his comics and that's why I'm so excited. And also, oh, yeah, obviously it's a new age of Captain America, but also if you guys don't already know, the girls on my Tumblr will know I'm a massive fan girl of Bucky Barnes, just because, like, I read his comic and I just was like, oh my god, I'm in love with you. Like, not really, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm a fangirl. <laughs> and just, like, I'm so excited for the character development we, we're going to get for him because we haven't been able to have a lot of that, unfortunately, because of the movies and the lengths. But because we have a TV show, <laughs> we're going to get quite a lot of it. And I'm so excited, guys. And also, I'm very excited to see the character development for Sam because we haven't seen a lot of it. There were some moments that I felt was sort of just, like, left behind a lot, especially in the final few films, especially with the whole thing that happened with Rhodey and, you know, that sort of a connection to what happened to his partner during, you know, his time as, like, in the Falcon program. Um, he lost his partner, obviously, and then just, yeah, nothing was sort of, like, I thought, like, we'd get a little bit of him being a little bit, like, distant from Rhodey when they reunited and stuff, but no. Um, obviously they didn't have time for that. But I really would have liked to have seen stuff like that. But I hope, like, we get the aftermath of what's happened with, obviously, the original Captain America, Chris Evans. And we get to see that, obviously, in the first episode, maybe. But anyway, let's just jump straight into this, because I'm so excited. I need to stop talking. Oh, let's go. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Hi! So, I'm a little, like, this is post recording and stuff, but I forgot to say this before. If you can, please donate towards my campaign for Stop AAPI Hate. Um, the link is down below. Um, I am having a stream tomorrow, so obviously this is coming out like right now on a Friday night. So tomorrow, 9pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, I will be going live on Twitch. Um, the links are all in the bottom so you guys can check it out. Um, but I will be going live and we're going to be raising money for Stop AAPI P.I. hate, excuse me, sorry, and um, I would really like it if people get involved and please donate for this. This is a very important topic for me and just like, with everything that's gone on this week, I just want to do a good thing and try and raise some money for a really good cause and we're also going to be having an open conversation about racism and just everything that comes with it and I, I want to unpack all that and I've got a lot of things before tomorrow so I hope you guys can join me tomorrow if you can donate that'll be awesome but also if you share the link around I would really appreciate it so if you can take the time to check that out I would really appreciate it. Ah! Oh god already Subtlety isn't really his thing <laughs> Oh <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Dude, that's so cool, but so sickening. They did oh, they did say this was rated M. Hard M too, so Flying thing compromised? Oh, thank god the wings work. Oh my god! Oh, that's sick. I love it already. 
Because <laughs> Evans really made the greatest Captain America. He was the greatest one who could ever play him. No one will ever replace it. <gasps> oh shit! What? Oh my god! Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Dude! <laughs> All the music! This is like the best music ever made! Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god! Jesus Lord. Oh. oh. Give me a moment to breathe. God damn my fangle. Oh Jesus. I'm just staring at him. He is looking so good. Damn boy. Stop. Oh God. I gotta breathe. Oh, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I was got Jesus. Oh, I don't know why I'm so flustered. Jesus. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, wait, he sleeps on the floor! Oh, I just took that in! Oh, that's because... It's like what Steve said, it feels like a- It feels like you're, like, swallowed by a marshmallow or something. Oh... Bucky! Oh, no! <laughs> Dude, you guys have to put up with me fangirling with him and stuff, because it's gonna- It's gonna happen, goddamn. <clears throat> wait, I'm just gonna stop there for a second. Um, even though they started talking about Sam and stuff, but I love the cinematography, especially just because, like, it feels so invasive, but it's, like, I love it, because that's, like, sort of, like, again, like, a topic of the, like, th what this, like, show is. It's talking about, you know, the mental health, like, all that, like, the awkwardness of being in this new world after the blip, and just, like, how they're supposed to survive, and also just, like, like, trying to, like, you know, control your emotions, stay calm and stuff. I love it already. So good. Um, and one thing I wanted to say as well was I love how it's sort of reversing what, like, Hydra was making him do, which was obviously, like, you know, he was crossing names off the list. But in this way, he's crossing names off the list, but for a good reason. He's catching all the people who were, like, he knew as the Winter Soldier. Um, and that's so interesting. He'd like to take you out on a date, maybe to bingo or... A night of pinnacle? Pinnacle. I'm really sorry about him. Why are you sorry? Okay. Wow. Oh, oh Bucky's got a date. He had a job with a consulting company. And, uh, <gasps> he was working. It was the guy that Bucky killed. Oh no! I feel like it is. I think he knows it too. Oh yeah, we're gonna see Sam's family as well! I love that. Heck yeah. Deep character dives! Oh, Bucky! Oh, he's actually going for the date! Oh my god, I love it! Oh, bless him! Oh, Bucky, what are you doing? Oh no, is he going to tell him? What are you doing here? Oh, he's so handsome. Yeah, I knew it! Bucky knew it too. <laughs> oh shit, that was beautiful! That was so clean! I don't know how jurisdiction works here, but I don't have to place you under arrest. <laughs> She- Oh my god! Oh! How does he have, like, super strength? You mean those guys, or the guys sitting in front of you trying to get along? Both. I mean, your financials are all over the place. Is there some kind of fun for heroes? Did Stark pay you when he was around? Ugh. Uh, thank you, but no, it doesn't qualify for SBA. Under the old terms. Sure. Funny how things always tighten around this. Oh, easy oh. day. Look. Oh, damn. Okay, pausing right there, though. 
damn, this episode already is just deep dives into every topic I hoped it would go into. It's gone into mental health, it's gone into, you know, like Bucky's backstory and stuff, and just all this past, and then Sam as well, and also a little bit of racism. Like, that's like... That's sick! I honestly was thinking like Marvel wouldn't do it, but I'm actually really, really surprised and I'm actually really happy that they did. Because I was like, you gotta take it all the way if you're taking it in the direction I think you're taking it. So, <laughs> okay, anyway. No, I wanna see his face! Show the face! I hate the suit. <laughs> Never will be what Steve is like. Oh god! <laughs> no offense to the guy, but no! <laughs> oh dear, this looks like the, the credits for um Civil War. Love it. Is there anything at the end, just in case? Okay, there's nothing there. Oh my god, guys. What a good episode to start with. Because, like, we got a bit of everything. We got a bit of, like, action. We got a bit of, like, you know... Bucky and Sam's like sort of like where they're at at the moment in this point in time six months after the blip and it's very interesting to see what's going on and I'm so happy with the first episode like it's a lot of exposition I know a lot of people are gonna be like like this is so boring but I actually really really liked it it was so good and I loved the amount of stuff that we got we got a lot of Sam's backstory oh of course we know Bucky's backstory because we saw a bit of it obviously in Captain America we saw a little bit of it in uh Wind Soldier and now we're getting a little bit and I hope we do deep dive into Bucky's backstory whether that's like a new episode or like you know we get like little little hints and hints um obviously there are rumors for the girl who's in that group that people have been saying that that might be Bucky's great 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 granddaughter or something like that um so like I mean it would be cool but at the same time I'm gonna keep like my hopes down and everything you know like especially for this especially after what happened with WandaVision like nothing bad about it I was just theorizing to my own liking and stuff me and the boys got excited of course but like to just sort of keep expectations low and just accept as it comes and I really like this opening episode because we again we get to see where the boys are at and we get to know a lot about Sam so like we know he's a family man obviously he left home at a young age and obviously joined um the air force and you know he has left a lot of baggage including his sister and her sons and obviously she's a widow as well so there's a lot of stuff coming up now especially because you know he's trying to sort of like this is said she, she, he's sort of trying to make up for that time he hasn't been there so he's trying to obviously um like fix the problems that are happening and yeah i'm i was so surprised by this episode though just by how Everything was addressed. Also, I have to say, just real quick, Sebastian Stan is, a, like, it's illegal to look that good. Like, how? Okay. <laughs> my heart. Like, my, my, ugh. Okay. But anyway, back to just the show in general. I really enjoyed everything that we got with Bucky, especially with that therapist. Like, I didn't realize she was a soldier, so it's great. We're getting all this new information, and I really liked it. Um... And again, the cinematography, it's so invasive. You're like in their faces, you're getting all the emotion. And I love that. I'm excited to see like what else happens. Like obviously it seems like Bucky is still very on edge. You know, he's trying to, like he remembers the names of all the victims that he's unfortunately had to kill. And he remembers all the people that, you know, became powerful during the age of Hydra. So obviously he's stopping those people. And yeah, it seems like he's very introverted but also he just he doesn't want to let people in especially you know he was very uncomfortable during the date which was so funny but at the same time you can just tell like he he's finding it hard to find someone who can relate to his issues and stuff because he's so old he's a hundred and hundred and six no a hundred years old a hundred years old and um you know, yeah, especially when people are saying, like, oh my god, you act like my dad, or you act like this, he's like, mm, yeah, I'm older than your dad, so, yeah, it's so, like, interesting, and I, I cannot wait to see Bucky's backstory unfill more, and again, going back to Sam, I'm sort of, like, jumping off and down, like, w different moments that stuck out to me, especially with the 
moment in the bank, you know. Again, like, I love that. Especially with, like, you know, yes, you're a superhero, but I'm not going to help you with this. So sad. But also, I love that sort of issue, like, when it comes, like, this is to say, like, oh, you never, it, it always gets hard for us when we get involved. And it was, like, it's obviously, like, sort of insinuating, like, the color of their skin. So I loved that. It was such a small, like, like, um, comment. I was so, like, intrigued if they were going to do that. And I'm excited, especially with the fact that they did go with a new Captain America and if Sam tries to go back and be like no I want to be Captain America and they're like no we already chose the perfect Captain America like the image and stuff and yeah this is something that Alex spoke about heavily when the trailer came out and also in the recent finale of WandaVision we also spoke a lot about what the show could be it, it's always about the guy who's behind the shield like Steve was a good man and such a good man you know like he always did what was best for people and he always tried to you know be be the better person and be the better like be the better man and um in this case take steve out of the equation put the new captain america in it who like what's that gonna be like and from the comics i have read i do sort of have an idea about what it's gonna be like but i won't spoil it just because you know people don't obviously read the comics and they're going in blind so i won't spoil it but It'll be interesting to see where they go and how far they take it. So, so far as well, the violence has sort of been, like, a little bit, like, further than they usually go. And I'm really surprised, but it was good. I'm really excited to see, like, what else, like, is going to be in this series. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Episode 1, A New World Order. It's so good, guys. I, I I really, really enjoyed it already. Like, with me, again, like, I've always, I've always said, like, I have the big theories and stuff. But when it comes down to it, I will always enjoy it no matter what. Just because it's... We're getting the show. Like, the fact that... Like, I remember, like, give like two years ago, everybody was like... Like, this, this logo came out and everyone was like, oh my god, it's actually going to be a Falcon in the Winter Soldier show. And everyone was like, like, Disney and stuff were like, no, it's not true. Like, you know, obviously they had it under wraps and they were obviously, like, planning it. But, like, the fact that it's real, like, it's so good. And, like, oh, I cannot wait for the rest of the season. It's going to be so good. And, again, I hope we delve more into the character development mental health and all those issues I really want to deep dive into it and already we have so I'm so excited for what else is in store for us also the action and also Sharon Carter like we didn't get to see a lot of action from her in um Winter Soldier we saw a little bit in Civil War but dude I went crazy when she was in the trailer and oh, I gotta calm down because oh I'm so excited and I cannot wait for the rest of this episode it's gonna be so good so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy mango out Woo!